Morning, everybody. How are we? I'm back in Cornwall. That was a bit of a quick run up to Scotland and back. Um, but wow, what the hell? Went up Friday, uh, no, Saturday night overnight. Got in there Sunday. What sort of time was that? About 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Had a happy day, sorted stuff that needed to be sorted. Then Monday, I got to go to, over to Kaleidoscope um, Books and Fabrics. What a place. If you're going up to Scotland, you seriously need to go in there. Um, and then I came back uh, Tuesday. Ran back down through the day, so that was good. So I had a day catching up with everything yesterday, so I'm sorry I didn't witty yesterday. And so we're going to have a witty today instead. Or at least a block, I should say. Um, and today's block, we've got talking block cabin, I think it's block seven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, block seven. Um, the last one we did was the one up the end there that had the little fine frame around it in a couple of places. Right, now today um, is either going to really upset you or you're going to have great fun. All right. I know that there's at least two people out there I can name who are going to hate me for this, but have a go anyway. I'm going to go totally random on you today. All right. Um, now... Those that know me know I do this frequently. The only thing I've done in prep for mine is I have my, my cow for the centre. And I don't know if you can see that because the, the camera's probably not in the best spot today. And I have all my strips that I'd already cut ready for. So what I'm going to get you to do, obviously I've not made mine yet because I haven't had time, but I'm going to have a little go later if I can. So I want you to start in the centre as normal. Du, 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 du. Only this time, we're not going to do dark and light. We're going to do anything and anything. Yeah? So you're going to start with your little ones. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and see, okay, what have I got that's a small piece? It's actually, they're all big bits. Look, I've got a little bit. So I might start with that bit. Oh, and then I've got the next size bit, so I'll have a bit of that. And then I might chop a bit off of that. And Do you know what? Just do anything. And if you're a bit nervous about that and you're not sure how, Stick all your fabric in a bag beside you and then just pull a piece out. Whatever comes, so long as it's a size that's usable, use it. Go for it. The only thing I would try and avoid is putting two next to each other. But then at the end of the day, does that matter? That could look really good. Um, so I'm going to leave the sizings to you because um, <laughs> I, I don't want to put too much on a couple of you out there. So if you want to make your, cut your strips at one and a half inch completely random the whole thing i don't want a dark and a light side on this one i want it completely mixed up okay could be that it's all dark could be that it's all light that's fine totally mix it all right um if you really fancied changing it a little bit what might be nice is do like a half inch round and an inch round then a half inch round and an inch round but all random all right see how you go Build your block up to the size that you need. So we're, we're aiming for 12 inch finish. So you're looking at having a, a block today at about 12 and a half ready you know, with your seam allowances. OK, um, I think that'll be quite fun and it should mix nicely with that. And it's going to it's going to stop this dark, light, dark, light. That one was a bit random, but it was random, dark, random light. Yeah. Proper, proper, <laughs> proper, proper. Hmm. You know what I mean? Turned around. Proper, 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 yeah. So now we just want an, a nice overall look to it, and let's see what we get. Okay, I think that could be a bit of fun. Um, yes. What else is going on? It's, it's been it's been very exciting. I still can't get my head around all those fabrics. I had new fabrics arrive yesterday. I mean, oh, mine's tiny compared, but I like them a lot. So I've got look. There's a whole wadge there coming. You'll find photos of this over on my uh, Facebook page. I might stick it on the Wittering page as well. Um, that's a new co range called Reef from um, Macau out Macau there. And I'm, I, I have a little plan going on here because it also, that one tones in so well. well I don't know if you can see that bay there um, with all the linen texture, which is their fabric. Um, and I've got a real, I've got a little, a quilt going on in here if I get time to do a few kits I quite like this idea um, and there's another little range down there there's just it's all coming in 
Yeah. And Christmas. Oh, what your Christmas up there? Ah, oh, they taste for Scandi Christmas. Um, so if I get time, do you know what? I, I do this all the time. I have so many ideas. I, I think I've probably said this once before. You don't ever want to be in my brain. Um, I see the whole world in colour and shape. If that makes sense. I don't see fine detail until I'm looking at stuff. I just see a shape and a colour and oh my god, that's lovely. Um, colour is my thing. Totally my thing. All I look at all the time is colour. And it's nice and it's bright and it's lovely. Um, so in my brain cell, when I see things, it, it sparks off ideas, yeah. Um, so what I would say for every probably 50 ideas that I get, I might make one of them. But for that one idea, there could have been 50 other connotations to it, you know. So it's like, oh, you don't want to be in here because there's like, there's thousands of them going on all the time. And I see all these new fabrics and I'm like, oh, I could do that with that, I could do that with that, I could do that with that. I haven't got time. I need a whole fleet of you here doing. <laughs> if I, Because I could keep it going for years and years, all these designs. And I land up only picking out just a few to do um, that are generally fairly quick. Um, and obviously the mystery quilts, because the mystery quilts will, will do take a little bit longer. Um, having said that, that's just reminded me and led me on to mystery quilt will be starting next week. So if any of you are out there ready to, to jump in and have a little go, um, English Country Garden, sign up is available either on my website over, or over on UK Quilters United website, not the Facebook group, the website, okay? Um, and then, um, yeah, patterns will start coming out next week, girls. It's all very exciting, can't wait, can't wait. And we're using Tilda fabric, or at least I've used Tilda fabric, you don't have to. It's it's another of my designs. Most of my designs I try to do what I call scrap and stash. Because we have loads of scrap, and we have loads of stash, most of us. And if you've not, it's an excuse to buy lots of loveliness. Um, so yeah, I'm using Tilda in that, and again, the linen texture, the Macau linen texture. There's embroideries in it, or you can do them as little drawings. Um, or they could be done as a quilting design. So do not panic. What I would say is a lot of my stuff, people think, oh my God, that's so complicated. It's not. Once you're told what to do, it's not complicated. You just follow the instructions. And if I'm babbling in the instructions and it's really not making any sense, well then you message me and I'll sort it out for you. So I, I do sort of assume a basic level of um, how to put things together when I write my patchworks, my patterns and stuff. And I do assume that actually you know how to quilt come the end and how to sort of do your bindings. Um, having said that, if you don't, then you shout me and I'll help you. Um, but yeah, so we've got the new one coming out next week. That's going to be really cool. It's so exciting. So what I'm saying is that beginners or anybody, or sort of anybody, in fact, beginners, you'd learn masses on this one. Um, other people you may be reminded of a lot of stuff that's what i'm going to say because there's all sorts chucked in there i've had great fun with that one ah so there we are three things for the day because i'm going to make this a very short winter because because i've got very exciting i've got all my you can't probably tell from that um i, I have um perspex screens right across here which means that with the door open and everything and loads of space um I, I can have just three or four people come in now for little sessions i'm not doing long ones i'm just doing little ones um because i'm not really a shop and i'm not really a hall and i sort of fall into the middle of everything and what do you do so i've taken the rules for absolutely everything as far as they the government reckon so i've classed myself as a shop and a village hall so i've got a list of stuff going on and everything's oh, i've gone right over the top but that's good um, so yeah, so later today I've got a few ladies in here, so that will have an impact on how much I can do today um, for the next little while. But it's all exciting and we get to play. I can't wait. It's going to be lovely. Right, so three things of the day. Are you all talking to your friends? Is everybody good? Is everybody okay? Have you had a little wit around? Good, good, good. Have you done a bit of tidying? Have you done your cleaning and your tidying around the house? Have you, have you tidied up the kitchen? Do you know what? I even put the washing on before I came out to me um, cupboard here today. 
that was a bit good for me because I don't normally do that. And I clean the bathroom. Um, so, yeah, no, I've been a good girl. So that's not bad, is it? I've got something in my eye. That's why I keep fiddling with my eye. It's probably called makeup. <laughs> I'm not very good. I only ever put makeup on for you lot. I don't normally do these things. Oh, but there we are. Um, so what was the third thing? Thirty did exercise. Mm. Do you know what? Scotland, masses and masses of exercise. Oh, fabulous walks, rivers, hills, forests, stuff. Did loads and loads of walking. It was lovely. Um, not so much this last couple of days since I've been back because that's life, isn't it? So I'm looking to hopefully run around the garden today. Well, that's a slight exaggeration. I might have, have a bit of a walk. <laughs> Okay, so there we are. One thing left to say, be lovely. <laughs>